Okay, for top secret, uh, I goofed and I only got one of the videos in. So while I'm playing this video, I'm gonna get the rest of the uh, the images in. Um, that's what I that's what I had run on. The that's time okay. For. You have time. I got minutes. a little bit of time. So uh, watch this video. Uh, we'll be back on the other side. We'll also play the little clip from the great search video game. Lady Ada, what is this? Okay, so I'm working on this OPT4048 uh, tri-simulus sensor. This is a uh, color sensor that um, can read RGB data and then decode it into CIE, X, and Y. So that's useful for like when you want to do like chromacity or color temperature um, and luck sensing. So, you know, I got it working with the library that I wrote and that's all well and good, but then I was like, man, I wish I had like a way to plot the data and so normally you know plotting data especially on like a non just like xy arduino plotter is really complicated um but i worked with claude and we made this cool javascript page so if you uh come out you'll see this is actually hosted on github um so what's nice is that it's all javascript um hosted on github and it uses web serial so i can connect to this device and then it you know, the Arduino sketch prints out the data and then it's plotted here really nicely. So the CIE, the Lux, um, you know, the temperature, I'm kind of moving it around. So it's, it's jumping, um, but it's, you know, kind of like a warm white color. And then, you know, I was testing this and I was like, well, how do I test other light colors? I don't actually have any gels here. I was like, oh yeah, I could just like oh. put the sensor up against it and you'll see that the, the little dot follows it ah, around. It's because training color, itself on synthetic data. I know, it's funny. Um, so this is really neat because something like this web page would have taken me like, I mean, I know JavaScript, I could do it, but it would take me like days. Um, this only took like 25, 30 minutes. You got hardware to make. Go back and forth. Yeah, I can focus on the hardware. And so what's neat is I'm thinking like, maybe we'll do this for more products um, whenever we want to plot or show the data. Instead of just having the Arduino or um, CircuitPython REPL output, maybe we'll just say, hey, look, connect it up to this GitHub hosted web serial demo. And, you know, you can really quickly test the sensor and get real data out. You know, it's like it used to be when you bought dev boards from companies to do this, you know, you had to run like Delphi programs that only went on Windows. So this is pretty amazing. Um, I love it. Uh, so yeah, so the sensor's gonna be coming to the store soon. Okay. Okay, sorry, I was talking over the video there, folks. I was like trying to get the questions lined up. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> I had the... Uh... Yeah, I know. I was like, why are you talking? I know. Usually you're telling you know. I'm exhausted. Okay. That's why I'm just like, let me do this. let me just see the questions there. I'm going to ignore that one. Sorry, Lon. I got to I got to keep moving. Uh, so here's a little clip from the video game. That's right. You'll be able to play it soon. Go to our Discord, go to the Great Search channel, Secret password. and you can get the URL and the password to the game and play it. So Lady Ada, you've been busy, very busy. What have you been okay. making? Um, so this one doing is for that ACS 73 something. It's a 30 amp current sensor for high voltages. So I need that barrier terminal block. Okay, and then next up? This is the massive breakout that I designed for that um, BQ25798 Max PowerPoint solar charger that we've covered on IMPI like two or three weeks ago. Um, I really like the chip. It's really a beast, but like it kind of does everything. So I designed a breakout that I think covers everything you could possibly need or want to do with this board. Okay, next tip. Um, this is a uh, request. Somebody was like, well, I want to drive a lot of those LED nudes or filaments in a row. And they add up to like, you know, 24 volts or more. Um, do you have a boost converter? And I'm like, oh, you need a constant current boost converter. We don't stock any. So this is a constant current boost converter. Um, it's not only for LEDs, but I kind of designed it for LEDs. And I can do up to like 38 volts and up to uh, 200 milliamps. Although it can't do 38 volts or 200 milliamps. It can do uh, like 25 volts. Or okay, next up. Um, this is what I worked on today. This is a breakup for the SI4732 AM, FM, long wave, short wave, and single sideband also, I think. Um, radio receiver with antenna outputs, with antenna inputs, I squared C control. I could put on a crystal there. I got a headphone app with a headphone amplifier. I think kind of everything you need to do to make kind of all-in-one digital radio that's I squared C controllable. 
Okay, and uh, last but not least, until you uh, send me the next one. <laughs> no, I'm I'm caught up. You're, oh, caught okay. Up. Uh, this is a little STEM QT breakup board for um, Raspberry Pi. There's a little header on the back there. Yeah, it looks like a corner of a board. It's like, this is the it? corner. Yeah, it fits into the corner of your like Pi because I was getting really tired of um, using socket headers, and I wanted something with an LED on it too, and like a separate power supply so I could hot plug stuff. Um, so this will let you hot plug I squared two devices. Okay, and that's uh, questions. Yep. You can, um, oh, no, sorry. Oh, man, I gotta get into it. This is top secret. This is top secret. Okay.